Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. Today I'm going to talk about my Wi-Fi experience with Unify 6 equipment. I have a video on this channel where I'll show you the installation of my home network. And back then, about two years ago, I showed you how I installed my Wi-Fi system. And I have a whole playlist showing you the installation of my home network from the beginning to the end of that project. The link is in the description. If you watch the installation video, you can see that I have three Wi-Fi access points in my home network. The first one is on the first floor, the Unify 6 LR. On the main floor, I have the Unify 6 Lite and here in the basement I had the Unify 6 Lite that I just replaced by the Unify 6 Pro and why do I need more than one access point? There are four elements that are going to affect your performance on Wi-Fi. First of all is the distance. You're trying to be as close as possible to the access point for all your users or all your devices. The second thing is the obstacles. This is a big house with a lot of walls and things like that. So having one access point can be a problem for some of the devices that will not have the best connection possible. The third element is the interference. Sometimes if your Wi-Fi is next to the microwave, that can mess with your radio signals. And the last element is the number of users you have on your network. Me, for example, I have a lot of small devices that I installed around the house. So if you have a lot of users, you're trying to have multiple access points so that those users can go across those access points because the speed you have on Wi-Fi will be divided among the different users you have on your network. So that's why with the two-story house and the basement, I needed more than one access point. But I'm going to tell you at the end what would be the other option if I didn't have as many access points. So my whole experience so far with those access points has been very good. And of course, if you want to have these access points, you need to have Unify Network running somewhere in your network. In my case, I have the UDM SE right now but at the beginning I had the UCK or the Unified Cloud Key which was fine and I made some videos about it too or you can have a Windows computer running the Unify controller in your network it's gonna be just fine so I've never really had any issue with my Wi-Fi it's been well it's been consistent so now let's talk about the upgrade I went from the U6 Lite to the U6 LR and the reason is because of course thank you Ubiquity Ubiquity sent me this U6 LR for me to use the thing I like about Ubiquity is that you don't break your bank but you still get very good enterprise services for both businesses and home networks. I have to say that at the beginning when I installed my home network, I didn't have any connection or any relationship with Ubiquity, but Ubiquity discovered me on YouTube, they liked my video and we started working together. So they sent me this device here for me to use and since I replaced it, my speed was dramatically increased. As you can see right now, this is what I was getting before upgrading, but after the upgrade, I almost doubled my speed on Wi-Fi. And that's because even if you go on the website of Ubiquity, the U6 Lite has small throughputs compared to the U6 LR or the U6 Pro. So if you can, and if you are installing a new installation, it's better to go with U6 LR or the U6 Pro. But if you don't care about the speed of the users, you can use the U6 Lite without any problem. The upgrade process was not complicated. First of all, I had to go in the Unify portal on the Unify devices and then pick these devices here, which was called AP3 Basement. I changed the name on it to call it AP4 Garage because I definitely need an AP in the garage. When I'm in the driveway in front of the house, I have really bad or spotty signal there. All of the access points are pretty far from the driveway, so I need an access point in the garage. So after changing its name, I clicked on Apply and then moved the access point from the port 3 to the port 4 on the USW8 PoE, the one I installed a couple days ago. So that's where all my access points are connected. And then on the port number three, I connected the Unify 6 Pro. So when you connect it for the first time, it's going to blink white until you adopt it on your network. Once you do that, it's going to do some upgrades and will be blinking blue until it's all done and ready to be used. So it's right here in my basement. And now, because I noticed that the U6 Lite has a lower speed compared to the U6 LR and the U6 Pro, I unplugged the U6 Lite from the, the main floor, so that one doesn't work anymore. So right now, I only have two access points in my home network, one on the first floor and this one here in the basement, and they cover all my house without any problem. But I still have to add this one in the garage so I can cover the driveway. If I couldn't have this many access points, one of the options could have been to have a single access point on the first floor, like the one I do have now, the Unify 6 LR. This access point can cover all the way to the basement with high speed. It's a powerful access point, and if you can have only one access point, pick the Unify 6 LR or the Unify 6 Pro and put it in some good location in your house, it's going to be fully covered. And if you are studying for the Cisco CCNA 200 301, I have a course on kbtrains.com that goes from zero to engineer. It will help you become a network engineer. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye.